Yes. I'm to talk to you about pride. What are you proud of? What do you have? If you should talk about it, yes, pride. If you should talk about it, what can you proudly say that this is my achievement? It is mine. I am proud of it. The question goes back to you again. Did you pray before you were born? If I have just made this mental picture in your mind, how many thousand cells, spam cells, was wasted before you were born? Can you imagine that? Now, based on scientific evidence, we have over 3 billion cells just for one production. For one person to come forth is a competition over 3 billion spam cells. But you are proud. What do you have? Did you pray for you to be the one to come forth? Did you pray to be chosen? No. It is not by a prayer. Finally, you were conceived. Your mother took care of you. She ate what she's supposed to eat or what she was told to eat during the attendance and down toward the delivery. You were saved. You came out healthy. You are also saved. Within this period of nine months, did you pray? No. Was it your right? No. Did you earn it? No. Did you suffer a bit? No. What is your pride about that? You were born naked. Or did you come with any car keys? No. Did you come with a tire? No. Did you come with an iPhone? No. Did you come with a Blackberry? No. Did you even come with a pen? No. What is your pride about? You were born naked. And you know the funny thing? The day you die, you will still, even if you are buried with gold, your body will decay and go back to sand. Even for those who have been preserved, on the long run, what happens? It still go back to waste. In fact, you became a, a, a pile of debts. If you want to know how dirty human being can be, Go to a place where someone died and he is not buried. Let's say someone dies, you leave the person in a room for 24 hours. Go back to the room. You will not be comfortable. Now, give it another 24 hours, making it 48. Go back to the room. You will be amazed at if it's a lady, it's a, it's, it's a man, whoever the person is, an old person, a little child, no matter the kind of person that is. Go back there after 72 hours, you won't be able to stand the stage. I am telling you, you are nothing but a pile of dirt. You are proud. You have a mansion. You have 10 mansions, different location, but you only stay at in one at a particular time. And you are proud. What is it that you've worked for? What is your achievement? Everything you have, you were given. Education, you were given. Or are you, you want to boast that your day one, from the day one till, let's say, maybe 18, where you were able to, you know how to fight for yourself, or even those who started earlier, let's say 11 or even 10, or even 5. At 5, you started hustling for yourself and making ends meet by yourself and for yourself. What happens between the age of 0 to that 5? Who was in charge? How did it work? Did you ever imagine that? Don't be too stingy and greedy. You don't come to this world to just take. The ordinary fish you know, the ordinary animals, insects, birds, uh, 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 plants, they are here for a purpose. Let's say, for those of us who don't eat animals because we say we are killing living things, my belief is, I use a fish as, case of, as a case study. A fish dies so that you may have food. 
You eat yam. Yam is a living thing. You eat rice. Rice is a living thing. You eat potatoes. Potato is a living thing. But these living things die because that you may have food. Just as Jesus Christ died so that you may have life. Why will you be proud? You are living and you are not living for anybody. If you now dies, who, are, who is going to miss you? Some people are so wicked. Some people are so, who live so, so selfish in a way that even if, when they die, no one misses their presence because they, have never, they were never there. They were there for their own purpose and their own benefits. And you keep accumulating and accumulating and accumulating everything you can, you can lay your hands on. <laughs> but unknown to you that one day you go and somebody else will take. What am, I, what am I saying? What am I saying? Pride. What are you proud of? If they say you are, you are proud, you are the, you are the world best footballer, you are the, you are the, you are the, you have the most expensive car in the world. You are, you, you, your name is found ten times in, in, in Guinness Book of Record. And so what? <laughs> Mind you. You are the best footballer. You are the best runner in the world. Do you know that God would have God could decide to make you cripple? What will you do? It is not you. It is not you. So don't be proud. Don't be proud. Pride is condemned in the holy book. Don't be proud. As little as you have, you should be comfortable and contented. Do not fear risk. But all I'm going to say, measure a risk before taking it. That's the next topic. <laughs>